What's up, brother? Hey, man. How you doing? Oh, good to have you, man. Thanks, man. Thanks for having what us. What is going on today? You guys are in for a treat because we're going to talk about something that often gets overlooked when it comes to building an elite CNC machine shop, and that is the air system. Today, we have Ivan from ADG Concepts, and a dude is an expert when it comes to installing these systems, and you're going to help us out today, right? Hey, man. Thanks for having us. We love what you're doing for the industry, and we're going to put an awesome system into this shop. You know, I always tell you guys, you can have a million dollars, you can have millions of dollars of machines on this floor, but if that air goes out, none of the machines run. So uh, this is pretty important. Yeah, and not only that, but if you have the wrong air, if the system's not installed right, not only can your equipment go down, you can actually destroy your equipment. So we're going to walk through the entire process. We're going to go through the filtration. We're going to go to how to run the lines. We're going to go through all of it, and we're going to discuss everything on camera. Boom. Awesome, yeah, man. Ready to do it, man? Let's awesome. go. So what we're doing is we're coming out of the compressor, through the filtration, and up the wall, we're using an inch and a half extruded aluminum system. We're going up the wall and coming over to the main production area where all the machines are located. We're using 3 8 threaded rod for hangers. I know some guys use like wire hangers or other hangers. We prefer not to do that. We use a solid 3 8 rod with a clip on the hanger that holds the pipe. If anything ever goes wrong, something hits it or you know, the pipe comes undone. If you're using a wire hanger, it'll just blow it like spaghetti. So we really want to secure the pipe. We're coming over to this section where the production is and we're creating a closed loop system. Uh, the benefit of a closed loop system is that it basically cuts your cost of delivering air in half. You get more CFM, you get a more reliable flow than just a branch line coming to it. Once we put in the loop system, we're going to put in drops over each machine. It's important to remember that compressed air has to be treated like steam, not like water. When you come off the pipe, you have to come up. If there's ever any condensation or moisture in your pipe, you don't want that going and carrying over to your CNC equipment. You want to come off with the dry air off the top of the pipe. Everywhere it tees off, we're going to install isolation valves. So that way you can shut down a portion of the loop instead of shutting down your whole production area. If you ever need to do maintenance at a machine, or any, anything else happens where you have to do a quick tap, you can just isolate that area and keep the rest of your shop running. Off the drops, we're gonna be coming down with hose. When you install the hose, we use a device that when you run the hose, you run it through it and it holds the hose, and that way you can have a service loop. So you're coming off of the tap straight up and you do a service loop with the hose and it's kink free and it holds the hose in place without causing damage. And that way, if somebody ever like pulls on the hose or trip, you know, something happens, right? It doesn't pull it out of your system or do any damage to your system. One thing that's important to understand about compressed air is you're taking ambient air and compressing it into a really, really small space. So everything that you have in the air, such as dust, um, humidity, oil, all that stuff is being compressed and it's going into your compressed air lines. So we got to clean that stuff out. For this system, we're doing three-stage filtration. We're starting with a, uh, a moisture separator. We're getting all the moisture out of the air. In this system, we're gonna put this sucker between the dryer and the air lines because this system has an internal dryer. If you have an external dryer, this would go between the compressor and the dryer. The second filter we're installing is a coalescing filter. Keep in mind, these are directional, and this would get the bigger particles out and all the oil out of the system. The third filter we're putting in is a micronic filter, and this gets all the super fine particles out of the air. When these filters go in the system, you'll notice that they have drains on each one of them. All of these drains go into an oil water separator, which is required by the EPA because you can't dump oil and contaminants into a drain. So this filter actually filters all of that out contains it and you have clean water running out that you can drain after that. So you can have a system that costs you money day in and day out, or you can have a system that actually protects your equipment and brings you a return on investment. So let's do it right, let's do it right the first time. 
Woo! All right, Titan. Awesome, Ivan, thank you so much, man. You guys killed it. Thank you. System is in place, ready for production. ADG concepts in the house. Boom.